G'day folks, Rod Moore here from Moore Art School once again. Now if you've checked out my other two videos, how to make $500 a day teaching art, and how to make two to $4,000 a month teaching art, then this video will be important to you because I wanna to talk to you about why right now is the best time in history to start an art teaching business. There's never been a better time. Now is the time to get started. If you, know, if you, if you have these two things, right? You have a passion for painting and, and art, and you enjoy people and working with people, and you want to make a bit of extra money, there's never been a better time in history. And I, I just want to walk you through the reasons why um, it's more possible today than it's ever been, right? So the, the number one reason is baby boomer explosion, right? Baby boomers. And maybe you're a baby boomer. I'm not quite a baby boomer. I'm just below the baby boomer age. But right now we've got this explosion of baby boomers who are hitting 55 plus, starting to retire. They're quite affluent because we've had you know, an economic boom time over the last 20 years in certain parts of the world. 55 plus, they're looking to pursue their, their hobbies, their dreams, their, their uh, creative side, and they haven't had time while they're bringing up kids and pursuing careers, and now they're ready, right? They've got money, and they're looking to pursue their passion, right? And some of them are interested in painting. And there's millions of them around the world. Mark my word, there's millions of them, right? Now, here's the thing. There's never been a better time in history because of baby boomers, plus here's the other thing that's making it such an incredible time for you and I as artists, if we recognise it. The other one is technology, okay? So I've talked about in the other two videos how to make $500 a day you know, teaching workshops, a one day workshop, um, and how to make two to $4,000 a month teaching regular workshops, okay? So we're talking about launching an art business, and, and the best time in history is right now because of the combination of there's a growing marketplace of people who are interested in learning to paint, and technology makes it more possible than ever to reach those people, and to build a relationship with those people, and to draw them in to wanting to learn how to paint from you, right? There's gonna be some people out there who will resonate with you and they just love you and they just wanna learn from you, and there'll be other people out there who just can't stand you, right? Don't worry about those people, worry about the ones who feel really drawn to you, right? So the people who've come to my art classes, they love coming to my art classes, but there's been people that just, they didn't like me. Who cares, right? Um, it doesn't matter. There's millions and millions and millions of people out there. You only need a, you know, a couple of hundred hardcore fans who love you, and um, you can make a really good you know, income. I won't say six figures because you need the mindset for that, but certainly a you know, full-time income is very possible. So let's talk about the technology side because here's the thing that's gonna hold back most artists from building an art teaching business, right? Lots of artists have had a go, they've done a workshop here and there, made a little bit of money, but building an actual business out of it, right, where there's an ongoing income stream coming from their art teaching is very different. So it's technology is what we need to use for marketing, right? Marketing, it all comes down to marketing. It doesn't mean you have to be a slick salesperson, it just means you have to understand marketing psychology on how to attract people to you um, and to put them into a database so you can build a relationship with them. Now, the database is the critical component because let me put the database here, right? The database. Now, the database is a lot of different technology platforms to build a database. I won't go through them now because it doesn't really matter for the purpose of this conversation. But the database is the critical element. Now, I had somebody sign up for one of my online courses yesterday been in my database for four years, right? In the database. Now you imagine if I did what most artists do and I didn't have a database, right? Would never have got them as a customer. But four years they've been in my database. Now think about it. <coughs> Why would it take them four years? Well, when they first came across me, maybe their life circumstances weren't right. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, maybe the timing wasn't right. Maybe they, they had their own business and they were flat out busy, or maybe they had teenagers they were trying to get through university, but they were curious and they were interested and they wanted to learn, but the timing just wasn't right. But because they were in my database, I built with them a relationship, right? They got to know, know, like, and trust me because I was in regular contact with that database. Not all the time, sometimes a lot, sometimes a little, 
But over a period of time, they heard from me enough, they got to know me, I resonated with them. They liked me, obviously. You know, if they didn't like me, they wouldn't have become a customer. So the database enables you to build a relationship. This is the key, right? The key to everything. How do we get people in the database is the big question, right? So out of the database. Now, I don't like the term database, but I want you to, it's a technology thing we need to have, right? What we're really talking about is building relationships. The more relationships you have with people who are interested in learning to paint, and, and you have top of mind awareness with them, in other words, they like you and they feel connected to you in some way, the more money you can make teaching art, right? Um, so out of here, we add this relationship database. We then book in um, classes, so one-day workshops, um, online, you know, everything that goes with it, right? This is where the money is made, down here. Got to get them in the database and build a relationship with them first. So here's why I say it's the greatest time in the history of the world to start an art teaching business, right? We've got the two forces coming together, baby boomers, technology. We're going to use technology to market to baby boomers, not just baby boomers, but I found they make up 90% of my marketplace, right? So I'm going to focus on them. Here's how we reach those people and we build relationships with them and we get them into our database, okay? So there's a, what I call a gateway drug, okay, which we'll come back to. It's the gateway drug that puts them into the database, right? If you don't have that part, you're not gonna build the database. Now, when I say a database, I'm not talking about you getting someone's email and putting them in yourself, right, and adding people to your email list. If you do that, you are going to run into all sorts of problems, people complaining about spam, because if they don't add themselves, then really what you're building is a spam list and, you, and this won't work. The money won't flow through if you're adding people you think might be interested to your list, right? It just, just do not do it. It won't work. You, it'll come undone, right? So I'm talking about people who, um, they add themselves to the database because I give them a reason to add themselves to the database. They opt in to the database, right? So what we have is this technology that has just, it's just got to a point right now, um, I'm recording this at the start of 2017, it's technology's at a point right now where it, it's unbelievable because we can reach a global marketplace better and cheaper than at any point in history. So let's go through it, right? We have got the big Facebook, right? We have got YouTube, we have got linked, uh, not LinkedIn, what's that other one? Instagram, okay, highly visual medium. We've got live stream, okay. I'm going to stop there because I, you don't need too many of these to make this work. But if you get this right, you can use Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and live streaming to send people to your gateway drug, which puts them in the database. What do, I, what do I mean by gateway drug? Maybe you don't like that term, it's probably not a very elegant term. Basically what it is, is a free, irresistible offer. I offer a five day learn to paint video course, it goes for five days, it's free, and I teach you the more method of painting in those five days, it's free, Irresistible offer. If somebody has been thinking about learning to paint, and that somebody happens to fit into this category here, right? Generally, how do I know they're baby boomers? Because I track everything. I know how old the people are, what age group they fit into, of people who are taking up my gateway drug, right? My free irresistible offer. I know because on Facebook ads, I can look at their age groups, right? YouTube, same thing. I can look at the demographics of. Who is clicking the links and coming over here? Who's watching the videos, right? Facebook ads. At the moment, I'm getting 10 cent clicks. Right, that means if I spend $1, I get 10 people going there. So it's $1 equals 10 people going to my gateway drug, seeing the free irresistible offer. 20% of them take it up, right? That means I get two people in there, into my database. Right? Two people for one dollar. Leads are costing me 50 cents on a global marketplace. Right? Never in the history of the world have been able to reach a global marketplace for 50 cents a lead. Trust me, it's never, never been possible before. How long will that last? 10 cent clicks? 
unknown. I don't think it'll last that long. I think maybe the next three to five years. So now's the time to build a huge database, right? Now's the time. Um, YouTube, free, right? You can create videos like this one, put them onto YouTube. I've been doing this for four years. I've been playing with it. I've been creating videos, showing how I paint. Now I've got my easel set up behind here, black curtain. I record videos on my mobile phone, which is how I'm recording this video. And I've been popping them up on YouTube and just playing with it, right? And um, I'm getting close to half a million views on those videos and, and getting close to 4,000 subscribers playing with it. Now here's what's happened. Is I started in 2012. Let me just draw you a graph here, right? And I'm, when I say playing with it, I mean I've literally been playing with it just spasmodically. I'm now going to take it a lot more serious. 2012, I had virtually no views. End of 2016, it's gone like this. Right? Just through adding videos. If I took this seriously, I could spike it up to dramatic heights. So do you understand what I'm talking about here? I'm talking about getting access to my target market, the people I want to build a relationship with, these baby boomers, getting access to them for free just because I've taken the time to record some videos and pop them up on YouTube. Okay? Now, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. The right way is getting it keyword indexed and things like that so that it gets found in the search engines. And this is why I'm, I started at the end, the last quarter of 2016, to start to see my views go up because I started to tweak things and get things right. Okay? So YouTube, Instagram is owned by Facebook. Incredible platform. Um, I won't even go into it, but amazing way to grow your art business. <coughs> and live stream video, right? Every artist should be sitting up their mobile phone in their studio while they paint and stream live what they're doing through Facebook, right? Through YouTube live stream and through Periscope live stream. Right? This is we're just scratching the surface. It's only, this is all brand new live stream. It's only just happened, right? Mobile phone technology has only just got to the right point. Internet speeds the right point. Um, the live stream platforms have just the last year got to a point where it's usable by you and I. Facebook now allows you to live stream. Live stream, build an audience, send them to your free offer, put them in the database, and you build a relationship with them, right? That's how we're going to get people into our workshops, our online courses, um, buying our art supplies, buying our paintings. Uh, it's just mind-blowing. If you're an artist right now and you are serious about an art business, an art teaching business, this is what I'm doing. Right? This is why you're watching this video. Right now, YouTube, this video will go up on Facebook, um, anywhere else I can put it, right? On my mobile phone. <laughs> Anyone can do this. I'm no genius. I'm just scribbling on the board, but I'm excited about it, right? Um, there's never been a better time in the history of the world to start an art teaching business. Now, there's, there is a lot to it. Admittedly, I'm giving you a high level overview. There are things that I've done wrong. It's taken me years to learn from my mistakes and get better. I can help you fast track that time frame. So that's why I created the More Certified Instructor Program. Um, right now, we've got people all around the world going through that program, learning how to start an art teaching business and becoming certified in the More Method of Pain um, and, and you know, growing a business. I've had our most recent student who qualified is in New Zealand. Um, before she'd even become certified, she had her classes up and running and booking those out. So she got her investment back before she'd even become certified, right? I can show you how to do all this. Um, if you're, you have a passion for painting, right? You enjoy working with people and you want to make some income from your passion of painting, right? You want to, you want to start an art business, an art um, teaching business, then I can show you how to do all this. Use all this technology, combine it with the right marketplace, and tap into what is, I think, the greatest opportunity for artists ever, right? Um, there's ever been to build a business. Whether, whether you want to make $1,000 a month or make 10000 or more, it's all possible, but you've got to plug in and follow the right path, right? And I can show you how to do that. Underneath this video, I'll put a link, show you how to get started, click the link, check out what we're doing, and get in contact. I'd love to have a chat to you. Talk to you soon. Cheers.